Praise be to Jesus. Today we celebrate this Sunday as a transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. This particular episode should be understood not from our perspectives, rather the perspective of Peter, James and John. It is they who encounter the transfigured Lord. It is they who had gone with Jesus to the mountain where Jesus was transfigured. Obviously, their experience was a remarkable one. So much so, Peter says, Lord, I will make three boots here. It is to say, better we stay here, why we need to go down where people are hostile to us. Pharisees do not accept us. These indicate clearly that these three disciples had a different and unique experience in the transfiguration of the Lord. Let us reflect from their experience, their perspective, their viewpoint. Let us become a Jew for a while. To begin with, we notice some symbolic expressions are given in today's Gospel. Let us focus the three important happenings in the transfiguration scene. Firstly, the Gospel says the cloth or garment of Jesus became white as light. According to the Jewish tradition, on the Day of Atonement, one of the important feasts where the high priest offered sacrifice on behalf of the people for their sins. On the day, he wears the cloth or vestment which is white as light. Seeing Jesus with this appearance, the disciples encountered Jesus as a priest. Secondly, there comes Elijah and Moses and they were talking to Jesus. Again, these two persons are eminent persons in the life of Israelites. Because Moses is the first prophet of Israel and Elijah said to be the last prophet of Israel because he did not die the physical death but he is taken into heaven. The Israelites thought that he would come again when Messiah comes. As Jesus was talking with Moses and Elijah and through this Jesus appeared as a prophet to three disciples. Thirdly, while these things are happening, they see a bright cloud overshadowed them and hear a voice saying, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. According to Israelites or the Jews, the kings are the real sons of God. In the Old Testament, God alone is king of the Israelites. No human can replace it. However, they had kings such as David, Solomon and the others with the understanding they are the sons of God, thus they were kings. By the voice from above, this is my beloved son. The three disciples encountered Jesus as the king. To the disciples, after the experience of the transfiguration, they would tell us today that Jesus is the prophet, priest and king. Now, we who are followers of Christ call to imitate that Jesus who is priest, prophet, and king. Now, the question is how to imitate him, how to follow him, especially how to imitate his role as priest, prophet, and king in our daily life. This is the challenge posed before us. In this regard, the three foundational pillars of Lent are of great help to us. 
for example who is a priest in general priest is the person who has the intimate relationship with god a priest cannot experience his priestly ministry if he lacks this relationship the first pillar of lent in fact invites everyone to develop such a relationship with god prayer fosters a good relationship with god by prayer we imbibe the priestly role of jesus secondly jesus as a prophet who is a prophet prophet is the one who always proclaimed a renewal of life a turn back to god calling people to change one's way we too can imitate this prophetic role in our life when we bring renewal in our life that is the aim of the second pillar of the lent that is fasting by fasting we establish a good relationship with ourselves we bring renewal to ourselves we amend our life by which we master ourselves fasting establishes a good relationship with me thirdly jesus as the king one of the characteristics of the king is the generosity the aspect of giving god is king because he gave his son for us jesus is the king because he gave his life for us on the cross we too can participate in the kingly role of christ by indulging ourselves with the third pillar of the lent alms giving he gave his life for the humanity we are also called to give that life to one another it has to begin in our family in our friend circle are we ready for this challenge to imbibe the priestly prophetic and kingly role of jesus christ then let us leave our tents let us come down from the mountain of our comfort zones let us begin today let's begin now may god bless us live jesus